what is up, console dominators? My name is Simon Mawson, otherwise known as Dreadlock Spartan, and I'm here with another one of your tech updates. Um, today we are unboxing the Lenovo, the Lenovo Yoga 900. Uh, this is a um, this is Len Lenovo's answer to um, to like a modern PC. Basically, it's really small, um, really well designed uh, laptop. Um, if any of you had seen the, uh, the Your Tech update that I did on the Asus Transformer Flip, it's a very similar design to that in the fact that it flips over, has a touch screen, turns into a tablet, um, really, really light. This one's a lot smaller, a lot more compact, and actually a lot more powerful. Um, so we're going we're gonna to have a little play around with it. Firstly, let's talk specs. Um, CPU Intel i7-6560U, 2.2 Gs. RAM 16 gigs, damn, 16 gigs for the size of this thing, that's awesome. Um, it has an SSD at 512 gig, which is, you know, it's on the, as far as hard drive space is concerned, it's on the lower spectrum, but as far as SSDs are concerned, it's pretty up there for an inbuilt. Um, we have also a display is 13.3 uh, inch. Um, that's a QHD LED TS. Um, four cell battery and obviously it comes with Windows 10. Um, we have no graphic information on the outside, so let's open it up and have a look. So this is the box now that I've taken the screens off. As you can see, it goes through all the flipping details there. Um, it's rattling around a little bit, so I might just open it up and check it out. The box is quite nice. Um, the orange and yellow, orange and white is pretty cool. So the top falls off just like a shoe box. Back to the side. We have these little bits of... Oh, now that's neat. Now, I've got to show you this. As you lift the arms up, it actually protrudes out of the box. That's cool. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. Um, we'll pull the laptop out. Look at that. Tiny little thing. I'll put that to one side for the time being. So light. All right, what else do we have here? We have support stuff, warranty card, all that kind of stuff in here. Comes in these cute little cute little sleeves that just pop back into the box. Um, underneath that, we have the power cable. Now this power cable is really interesting. Um, it's actually a USB powered device. Um, but as you can see, it has, it's a slightly different shape to what you're probably used to. Um, when you're unplugged it and you're running on battery, you can use the, the, the power port as a USB port, it works both ways. The other end is USB as well. So another little slot that comes out, I imagine that this is the uh, the wall adapter. Look at that. That is cool. That is cool. Now, the cable's not super long. The cable's not super long. I'm gonna go ahead and say that it's just over a meter, um, which is a bit of a downside, but it's a USB cable, man. You can buy extensions for these things anywhere you want. Amazon, Harvey Norman's, um, anywhere you want. So that's really cool. I like this. Um, let's see, what else do we have in here? Doesn't seem like much. That is literally it. Very minimalist. I like it. I like it. So I'll just pop this stuff back in and we'll get this, we'll get this PC booted up. So yeah, once we open it up, we have a nice size screen, really nice sized um, keyboard, really easy to tap, um, to tap on, small trackpad, um, this surface here is like a rubber. This surface here is like a rubber. Um, it's nice and grippy. It's designed to keep really cool. You have a look at these hinges. Pretty interesting looking hinges. Uh, apparently they're handcrafted. I don't know how that helps at all, but um, that's interesting. As you can see, it's perfectly straight. And then, boom, you get yourself a tablet. And it's light enough to be a tablet. The downside to the Transformer Flip is I never really used it as a tablet because it was too big and heavy. Um, with this, I can see myself using this as a tablet a lot. Um, <clears throat> on the side, on the side here, you have the charger input, USB, USB-C, and an SD card slot. Um, on the other side here, let's close it up. Um, you have an on and off switch, reset button, headphone jack, and another USB SS port. Um, the main selling point for this guy for me was the amount of, uh, considering how small it was. The amount of USB ports that it has. It has three, including the charger cable, which is pretty impressive, plus the USB-C. 
Um, it's a great way of um, integrating USB-C into, you know, into the into the world because it has to come in slowly, obviously. So, yeah, really, really good stuff. Now with that SSD, we're gonna have a really quick boot up, and there's probably gonna be a whole bunch of like setting up stuff that I'll have to do manually, um, which you guys don't want to see. So we'll move straight on. I will just quickly say that the keys are backlit. Winning. 